Okay, yes, we're up close and personal today. And hello, I'm back with a Sega Saturn Top 10 again. And today's Top 10, as you've probably read from the title, is 10 games that you can actually get uh, for £10 or less. So uh, really, really ideal for those um, either starting out with a Sega Saturn collection, especially for the Japanese region, and anyone moving over to it. Uh, 10 games that aren't hard to find, uh, that are not horribly Japanese text heavy and unplayable. 10 games, again, that are really good fun to play and are a great start to any Saturn uh, collection. So, yeah, let's... Um, before I actually start, I want to <laughs> I say I had a quite... Um, I had to scratch my head quite a bit now um, trying to go through and make this video because... I was actually shocked to find that the prices of the Saturn games, especially these Japanese region ones, they've actually shot up. And it's crazy to see how they're going up in price. I mean, games that I were looking to expect to put in this list, checking the prices of them now, it's just incredible how much they've gone up. Um, for example, games like Layer Section, uh, games like Sonic Wing Special, I was expecting to put in this list. Those games are, are, are reaching uh, 40 even up to £70 pounds in some cases. Uh, games that I, I paid like 10 to £12 pounds for myself. Um, it's, it's incredible. Um, it's, it, was, it was really tough um, actually putting this list together. Uh, Street Fighter Zero 2, I think, um, that's going up in price. Uh, just yeah, it was it was it was actually quite hard putting this list together. So, but I've I've managed to um, I've managed to do it. I've I've found a bunch of games that are very very affordable, uh, easy to find, and really good you know good quality games, good fun to play. So again, a really nice start to any kind of Saturn collection, or for anyone looking to you know want a want a good game to play, but not to spend you know extortionate amounts of money. It is uh, coming up to. Christmas and New Year as well so get those savings in and maybe you can uh, pick up a good few cheap games in the new year we'll see if the prices don't go up anymore anyway so yeah let's get it started um, hmm. first game I've chosen is Alien Trilogy uh, this game I know it's uh, it is available in the UK re uh, the power region so it's not an exclusive to Japan. But again, it's a solid good game. Um, it doesn't have those horrible frame rate issues like Doom uh, does on this on the Saturn. You know, it's a great first person shooter. And it's um, a welcome addition to any Saturn collection. It's, it's, a, it's a great atmospheric game. The music in this game is really nice and atmospheric. Um, really well done. Uh, Alien Trilogy. So yeah. Check it out. That's uh, ten pounds or less. All of these are. So yeah, that's the point of it. I won't keep repeating myself. Uh, next game, uh, a good solid two D beat 'em up. It a uh, or oh, fighting game. It is Street Fighter Zero. And there are three Street Fighter Zero games uh, in this series. Uh, but again, the, the um, if if you're starting out, uh, you want a good solid. Uh, uh, fighter and it's, it's cheap easy to find uh, this is where you're going to have to start if you want to build a collection anyway I'm sure you'll get this in your collection anyway at some point so um, yeah probably the best the first one to um, the best first one to pick up at Street Fighter Zero okay another fighting game now and uh, this is of uh, the 3D um, genre I suppose uh, this is Virtua Fighter 2. Uh, yes, this game is still uh, achievable for £10 or less. Um, and the quality of this game, I'm, I'm, I'm actually quite shocked it is still that price. So while you still can, uh, pick this game up. Um, prices, I'm sure, for it will go up in the future. But very, very still, no, st still very, very affordable. Uh, and a great game, solid game. Probably the best the uh, 3D beat-em-up. Uh, 3D fighter on the on the system so absolutely if you can get this less than 10 pounds it's not hard to to to, to do uh, to find uh, for that price uh, certainly pick this up um, it'll be it's, it's a very welcome addition uh, and what's really cool about it as well 
uh, the Japanese version with these cases as well. You know, on the inlay, you get all the all the moves list and everything. So, well, not everything, but the moves list, which is quite cool. Okay, next one. A game I'm currently playing right now. Uh, really enjoying it. I've never played this game before, but I'm playing it through as part of my 52 game challenge for this year. And this is Biohazard. So this is the original version um, of what they call Resident Evil over in the US and the UK. And um, really good game. Again, very affordable. Very easy to find. Loads of copies of this. And in regards to playability, the game is, uh, it is Japanese text. Uh, but it's um, all the voice acting is in English, so that's that's easy enough to understand. And to be honest, um, if you have no Japanese language or reading ability at all, um, it's probably not that hard to muddle through. Um, it's just simply you're looking for items, really, aren't you? So it's just a case of finding items in certain rooms and stuff like that. But um, it, it's it's not that bad at all, so don't be scared of it. But Biohazard, um, a game that yeah, it's very well um, uh, looks beautiful as well. Lovely graphics. I think it actually does look better than the PlayStation version as well. But you have to play it on a CRT, not one of these um, LED screens, because it uh, the, the the visual is just a ten times better. Uh, so that's Biohazard there. Oh, lucky you! Another fighter. Uh, definitely get this. This is a great game, and yes, it can be got for ten pounds or less. You have to be savvy though. Uh, try and find it. There's, um, there's plenty of copies. Last time I checked, but uh, very, very obtainable for ten pounds or less. King of Fighters, ninety five. Uh, you can also get the King of Fighters ninety six and ninety seven. But again, for for purposes of this video, if it's something that if this if it's a system or a, you know um, genre you're looking to get into. Uh, this is the best one to pick up. It's a great game. It plays fantastically. Uh, no issues with slowdown or anything like that. Uh, bear in mind, though, if you do get this uh, this um, version, 95, you have to get the RAM pack with it as well. This game comes with its own custom um, uh, RAM expansion to help. Uh, with loading so uh, it, the game won't run without it so if you do get this game uh, make sure it comes with this uh, RAM cartridge as well uh, you can get it in a box or you can just get it loose whatever it doesn't really matter but you've got to get the RAM cartridge so that's King of Fighters 95 beautiful 2D uh, SNK fighter look at the visuals on that even the box art looks <laughs> even the screenshots look great uh, but it plays absolutely fantastic, and it's um, I think out of the three, it's pr probably it's the one I've played the most. Um, but it, and, uh, I'd, I'd say it's more my favourite because I'm I'm so used to playing. I've played this more than the other two as well. So, uh, yep, yeah, ninety five King of Fighters. Another shooter, but this is a classic shooter, and um, yeah, it's not one that's really in depth. It's basically what you see is what you get, and it is what it is. It's just Space Invaders. So on here you get a couple of different um, classic table versions that you get from the arcade. Don't expect anything too much. Again, like I say, it's just base invaders. There's no fancy extras in this. Uh, you get the four different kind of table versions from the 70s and 80s. The different colours and stuff here. Um, and that's, that's it. There's a two player mode, obviously. Well, not obviously, actually. There... <laughs> Here you go. Uh, there, there's a two-player mode, so that's nice and fun. Um, but again, a quick, just lovely, classical pick-up-and-play shooter. A lovely, affordable price. If it's you know, if you fancy a hit of little re retro nostalgia, uh, this is a great game to have on on the system. So, uh, Space Invaders again, another one that's less uh, you can get for less than ten pounds. Um, um, I think a must have because sometimes you just want something a bit classic and a little bit, bit retro don't you it's all well and good having these nice up to date sh well not up well more up to date um, they're not they're kind of outdated now all these games but um, this is a classic and um, sometimes you just get the urge to, to, to play something a little bit more retro so that's 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 a great um, addition to to any collection 
uh, for that price. Uh, this 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 game struggled to get on the list actually. This is a shooter. This is a economy uh, deluxe pack, so you get two games on here. This is uh, Twin B. You get Det Detana Twin B and Twin B Yaho. So this is creeping up in price. Um, uh, it, it's reaching the fourteen fifteen pound mark. Um, but if if you're savvy, yes, you can still. Uh, get this for ten pounds or less. Um, I'm, I'm sure I've probably got it for about that, but I got this a while ago now. But uh, yeah, very good in fact for the fact that it's got two games on it, and uh, so it's, it's probably definitely worth maybe fourteen or fifteen pounds. But uh, you can uh, get it for ten pounds or less. But I think this is starting to go up in price again uh, because it is Konami and it is a good, um, you know, it's. They're a well-known publisher, aren't they? So two games on there. So uh, while you can, you can still get this for ten pounds, and it's kind of like like a cutie shooter. You know, it's nothing hardcore, but it's good fun. I don't play it that much, uh, to be honest, as much as the the others. Um, cute shooters aren't really my thing. Uh, I have it as part of a, you know, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Saturn collector, so um, I haven't really given this much time, to be honest. Uh, maybe it's a great game, but I'm 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 yet to really get into it at all. But uh, for the price, definitely worth having. One for a rainy day, I'd say. You know, you, I guess sometimes you get the urge on uh, even just having it in a collection, and you'll be like, "Oh, I fancy a bit of that today," and then, "Oh, I've got it, brilliant!" So even if I'm not playing it like every day or every month or anything like that, it's there, and I know it's there. And, I'm not going to have to go out and pay 20 quid when the prices go up. So anyway, uh, this is a must-have. Saturn Racer. This is, well, there you go, Sega Rally. Uh, what more can be said? Um, shocked this is still, well, there's so many bloody copies of this. Um, I'm, yeah, it's it's pretty fair that it's £10 or less. I'm, I'm sure this was released in thousands so it's not going to be hard to come across a copy of this for a, for the good price. So, but um, uh, yeah, well worth it, and it's a great game. Sega Rally, uh, two-player action, loads of courses, hidden course to unlock, loads of t um, uh, times and uh, records to beat on there. Uh, great fun, really. And when you get into the Sega Rally zone. Um, Oh my god, it's a <laughs> such a great game. Um, if you can, like a lot of people play Sega Rally, I guess maybe, or oh, I don't know actually, I'm assuming, but play this game with manual controls using the uh, regular Saturn pad, using the shoulder buttons as, to change gears. Uh, it is just glorious. The game just opens itself up to you and after a few practices to get used to the controls and the changing the gears your time start to drop and it's just oh it's incredible you get into that like rallying zone i just i can't stop smiling thinking about this game it's so good um, i never thought i'd like it as much as i did but it's it's a fantastic game uh, i just love it sega rally is awesome god sorry i'm getting excited about that uh okay <laughs> Uh, this is another fighter. Uh, another fighting game that's less than £10. What is it, Riddler? What is it? It's a Capcom fighter. Bloody hell. Yeah, for less than £10. This is Vampire Hunter. And there's actually two of these on a the Saturn. You get Vampire Hunter and Vampire Saviour. But again, for purposes of this video, this is kind of like if you want to get into Saturn, you want to get into these fighters. This is a great introduction game. Um, I'm sure you can get Vampire Saviour for a good price as well, um, you know, but this is the first one that can definitely be had for £10 or less. Two, there's no need, any screenshots on this really. 2D arcade uh, Capcom fighting action. Uh, it's a glorious game, really fantastical characters in this. Um, beautiful game, beautiful, great fun to play. Uh, if you can get Vampire Saviour for a Ten pounds or less, or a good price. Go for that one. It's the better game, but you know if you're struggling, go for this one. Just as good, Vampire Hunter. Uh, what else is it known as? Vampire Hunter. Uh, it's got another name, I'm sure. Hmm, can't remember right now. But yeah, good one. Oh, one left. Last one. It's another fighter. 
I've banged on about this game in the past and that how it rivals Virtua Fighter 2. This is Dead or Alive, and it is incredible. It's a great game. Um, the visuals are stunning. It's a great 3D fighter. Really underrated, in my opinion. Play this on a CRT. The visuals are high res. They are glorious. They are so nice. But the gameplay is excellent. Such good fun. Such good fun. You can, if, you, if you're familiar with Dead or Alive, you can really see where it comes from. The, the pedigree, the, the, the gameplay in this. It's just such a nice change from Virtua Fighter. Um, Virtua Fighter is a much more technical kind of fighting game, you know. Um, you you know it, it, it it's for for the proper professionals the hardcore but this this is another this is a different level altogether don't expect anything like virtual fighter in this uh, this is also i think known as the kind of bouncing boobs game and there's an option in the menu for this called bouncing boobs <laughs> and you could turn it on or off uh you know whether you're easy to get distracted or not but um you're getting that you're getting that glorious uh, there's also like a, like a special release version on the Saturn, on the Japanese Saturn for this as well. I think this is, I think this was released in UK PAL region, but again, very obtainable on the Japanese region. And that's it, ten pounds, ten pounds for all those games each. Uh, but really good set of games uh, for anyone to start off your Saturn collection. Or add to it if you're looking for good, solid, uh, cheap games. Check any of these out; they're highly recommended. Um, I've well overstayed my welcome. Um, I'll try not to be as long in the next doing the next video, but hey ho, uh, you never know. That rhymes. See you later. Bye bye.